equality. He is talking about equality. But he's putting it, y'all taking it out of context when he's talking about equality. He's saying, look, he said it. Like, I, I don't have the quote right in front of me. I wish I could jump online real quick and look at it. At it. But he, I may get this off. But he basically, he said, um, like, he said something about our own country. Remember he said something like that? Yeah. He said something. Can you pull up the quote, this time? All right. All right, I pulled up the quote, and it says, he said, um, now, what we've been doing is looking at the data. We know the police somehow managed to de-escalate and disarm and not kill white people every day. So what's going to happen is we are going to have equal rights and justice in our own country, or we will reconstruct their function and ours. So he's not just saying, hey, Kumbaya, let's get the equality. We all want to be peaceful. No, he's like, if y'all don't give us our rights and justice that we deserve, we're going to demand it and just create our own shit and restructure your shit too. You know what I'm saying? We about to cause some shit. So it's not no just peace, loving, let's get along type of speech. It's a, it's a lot more co- deeper context right. than what he's saying. He it's just, been... oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I'll just, I'll go after you. Yeah, I, I'm just saying it's it's, it's more deep. It's, it's deeper than just let's get along. Everybody's human beings. We all the same. We all the one. No, clearly we're not. Tamir writes, if you can do a drive by, like he literally said, if you can do a drive by on a 12 year old child, can get off scot free for that. You think what I'm saying? You can. Um, there's so much injustice happening to us still today. You think what I'm saying? And then you got people who are of the dominant society, as Tariq Dashid would say, um, dominant society defending that tells you the pathology of America. We're still, we're not that far removed from being a lynch. <laughs> That's not that damn long ago. Shit, people are still getting lynched today. I mean, I, I just think people didn't dig deeper into that context of what he said right then and there. And then that also pushing on black folks as well. Like, we need to get our shit together as well. Right, and I like what he said about that, how everybody getting money and y'all giving y'all money right back to these brands. Exactly. Because, yeah. like, like that statement, that was a bar. Like, he was dropping, he was dropping bars on it. Like, that was a bar, what he said. He was like, you know, um, uh, we spent centuries in praying for the brand that were put on our bodies. Now we're sitting here trying to trying to get brands to put on our bodies right. when our ancestors were praying for the brands that were put on their bodies. Right. Now we're seeking for the same people that put the brands on our ancestors' bodies to give us brands. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. we need to get out of that whole mindset, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, it, it, he was dropping gems after gems. So he not only was talking to... White people. He was talking to us too. Shit. He was talking to us too because we still, like for instance, me and you was trying to build something here, and we may need to get a sponsorship here and there. Basically, we're seeking for branding. We were seeking for somebody to brand our show so we can get paid. You dig what I'm saying? Because right. um, not because we know that, and we don't have our culture, our community is not built up enough to be able to just finance our show. You know what I'm saying? Where we can get black brand. Well, we actually can, but, you know, we have to do the due diligence to seek them out. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, um, that was one thing that I think a lot of the people, it went over a lot of people's heads. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, and everything he said is something that we can do today and make things jump off and do what we need to do for our own community. And everything he's saying is not anti-white. I saw a lot of people like anti-white. Like they put it on the KKK um, website saying it's an anti-white um, uh, Jesse Williams anti-white statements and on the BET Awards. I hate white like, people feel like just because somebody called them out is anti-white. Exactly. That's bullshit. Like, and that's the case. They the speech anti-black then, too because he called us out. Exactly. And then not even just that. It's racist for what he's saying. No, it's not. It's truth. Right. It's honesty. It's reciprocity. If y'all would look up and stop living in y'all cognitive dissonance bullshit, y'all would really see that. That y'all have some really foul 
about shit that y'all have really have to fucking address. Not if you don't want to address it here and now, you gonna address it to the maker or the creator or whatever the hell you believe in. Right. You gonna address it sooner or later. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um. And so it, he goes in, man. He goes in. He my favorite one of my statements. The statements he said he was talking about how um 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 they wear us like costumes. Right, He's fucking right. on the cultural appropriation, Justin. Right. <laughs> you know, that was directly toward Justin Timberlake, and he even said, "If you have a critique and you don't have a history of standing up against the oppression of our people, then sit down, don't say nothing." Justin, Whoopi, you know what I'm saying? Right. Where is your resume for standing up for the oppression? You just a symbol. That's not good enough. You just got money. That's not good enough. He says it. He calling y'all out, and y'all just up in your feelings because he called y'all out. That's why y'all speaking out like that. Now, Justin Timberlake, his old statement, I'm not too mad at it. I'm like, you know, he should be inspired by that. Anybody should be inspired by that. Right. But when he came back and forth with the old dude, you the, know, he could have he could have just um, left them alone. Yeah, why he even responded to that trailer? Because this is the thing. Justin Timberlake is more famous than Jesse Williams. Let's just be honest. He's more famous than Jesse Williams. So Justin Timberlake making that statement, now everybody talking. About, we're talking about Justin Timberlake. We're not really focusing on what Jesse Williams had to say. You think what I'm saying? It's taking a, it's a distraction mechanism. Oh, you think he did that on purpose? No, I don't think he did that on purpose. I don't think he did that on I, I ain't going to say he did that on purpose, but I think the media and everybody else jumped on it on purpose to do a distraction. Right, right, exactly. You dig know what I'm saying? And um, and I, I, I don't hate Justin. Well, I ain't gonna say I do. I don't like Justin Timberlake, but I don't hate Justin Timberlake. I mean, I just don't like what he he's, did. He's man. very average as an artist. You know, just that's just my opinion. A lot he of people love him. Right, white privilege. He, he definitely. I mean, definitely. Just to be honest, we that's the whole thing. It's about being honest. Everybody wants to kind of well. We gotta make white people feel comfortable, so we can't really attack him like that. He kind of went hard, so we gotta kind of smooth it out like no let's just be honest i don't we don't it's not about hating somebody it's not about uh um um, um bashing somebody just for the hell of it no we have a legitimate reason what we're saying we have a legitimate truth to tell this you know so people need to sit down with that and, you know got stacy dash old coon ass, ass. she's always coming out the woodworks this half we're talking about i said it before you know, BET is racism. It's racist. This is the thing. If you have BET is owned by a white network. First so you're basically all. saying that white network is racist. Right. That's what you're basically saying. And then every other group had their own niche programming. Right. Like, two got people got their programming. The Asian people have their programming. They got their own stations. You got women. Y'all have y'all own programming. Mm. Homosexuals have their own program. Everybody has their own niche programming because that's what people are into. People go into their own. People want to see something that looks like them. It relates to them. Yeah. That's the reason why BET was created by what the name? Something Johnson. Bob Johnson. His name. Bob Johnson. That's why he created it. Because back then we was not known seen anywhere. We just leave it to white people. Just do everything, and we all one, and everybody has a connection to the. Thing is like okay, but what's the, what's the is difference in culture? We have everybody has different cultures, and everybody different cultures has to relate to them. And people ain't just gonna watch TV just to try to be all one. We don't watch TV to be one. We watch TV because we look trying to be entertained, trying to see reflections of ourselves. Right, that's true. So sit down, Stacy. You you them. Tarnish your whole thing. Right, just sit like, down and shut up. Shut the hell up. Forever. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> and uh, Jesse Wynn told you to shut up, but you ain't going to shut up. He know that you ain't going to shut up, so we ain't going to give you too much uh, publicity on that, but you just let you know, shut your ass down, shut up. Then you got Tommy Lauren coming out the woodworks talking about the, that white girl just stupid. She's just a ignorant young little She should say stuff to get y'all to talk about her. It really. She's just trying to get her show popping. You know what I'm saying? Keep yeah. her show popping. Oh, if I make um, fun of Jesse Williams, because the black people get mad and they'll all be talking about me and that made people watch my show. 
I bet that's and then what I she can said. Get, and then I can get on the Breakfast Club and talk to Charlamagne, and Charlamagne can call, call me out and cuss me out. Is that like, what happened? No, that ain't what happened, but that's what she's thinking. It's like she <laughs> likes to use shock tactics. Yeah, exactly. Shock, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shock bait. Uh, 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 clickbait. Yeah. It's a clickbait reaction. Yeah. And um, I think black people, we need to stop being so reactionary. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah, I am going in on these people, but we need to stop being so reactionary. I, I ain't just talking about just black people outside of myself. We need to stop being so reactionary to every fucking thing. That's what they expect from us. They expect us to get reactionary, do a whole bunch of blogs, do a whole bunch of videos, do a whole bunch of talk about, oh, they say this, and they but play we're not head. working. Right. We're not taking in what Jesse Williams is saying. The reason why I'm bringing all this up, what I'm saying, Jesse Williams gave laid out clear, concise ways that we can actually build from this discussion, from this speech, from what he's saying, from what he's saying. And we're going to have to address some other things, the other fuckery within our own community that's attacking this. Exactly. You know, the um, yeah. whole colorism issue. Like, we discussed this last week. He said something about colorism? He didn't say nothing about colorism, but people do not like... You remember we were talking oh, earlier? Oh, because he's about a light-skinned guy. People... Oh, a mixed-race guy. People feel like... Yeah. He shouldn't be nothing. Yeah, like, that's the only reason he got that platform. And I'm like, if a white person came out there and said the same goddamn thing, I'm, I ain't going to be mad at that white person. I'm going to be like, hell yeah, black power. Throw my black fist up. Like, I don't see... This thing. Yes, he's mixed-race. Yes, his mother and father is white and black, but a lot of y'all got black mother and father. Y'all ain't saying shit. That's true. And my thing is, I said on my other podcast, um, if someone is a mixed race or if they're a part of some other group, but they're using their platform to still help black people, I think it's a good thing to me. It's like the same here. If, the same here. You know, if he was thing. using... If he was benefiting from being mixed, if that really was the case, which I don't think is the case, but if he was really benefiting from being mixed, but still using that platform to be to, to push forth the messages and the plight of black people, I think that's yeah. still a great thing. It's not like he used his platform and forgot about everything. He's still, you know, fighting for us. So I don't see what's wrong with this. I don't see nothing wrong with it either. At all, I think I, I think that's why we need to restructure our function as well. Because you know at the end of the saying? day, we all gonna be on different platforms. We're exactly. all gonna be like they may invite you to talk on stuff that they're not gonna invite me to talk on. And exactly. we gonna have our different lives, and we are gonna be doing different stuff. So you just gotta remember where you came from, no matter which platform you on. Exactly, and that's one thing his parents instilled in him: his white mother and his black father, who was there in the audience, proud of what his son is doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he, and this is another thing. Since when did we start separating ourselves from light skin and black? Like you got to, it's a separation between the two. When we got to the point where we're not one black race, you know what I'm saying? It's pockets of black races. Right. Black, black race. We the only group that does that, right? The last thing we like, need is more separation. Even though white people, even though beforehand white people, it was like, okay, we got the Italians, the this, this, and this, and this, and this. But in African American culture, it's light skin blacks, blacks, mixed race blacks. You know, we the only one do not know, do not see the fuckery that we are perpetuating from slavery, and we call ourselves conscious. That's some dumb. Bullshit. If you conscious and you doing this whole colorism bullshit, you ain't really conscious. You a damn cornetail pro type of motherfucker. We can't. I don't fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can't really rock with you. You you sound like an agent. Like get out of this whole thing. And then this is another issue that I see with that whole t- with every with black people attacking it. There's people talking it because they feel like they should be the one up there talking about. It. That's another reason why people saying if he was light skinned and dark skin. Now that's it's like his jealousy. That's just jealous. Like, that's really what it is. Just jealousy. Like, um, I like Umar Johnson. I like Umar Johnson. But he had a little post, and I don't know if he was just trying to be funny. He may have just been trying to just be funny. And just get people to look at it, you know? You know, it's, you know I ain't, I ain't going to go too deep into it, but it came off like he was kind of upset because he wasn't on the platform. He didn't have that platform. That he should have that platform. 
And granted, everyone should have a way to get their message out. Everyone should have a platform.